union of sets in operations on sets one of them is union of sets the union of two sets a and b a and b so union is nothing but just combine so union of sets a and b is denoted by a u b so this is a symbol so we can read as a union b so we can read as a union b so let me explain you what is union of sets so for example okay first let me give an example so a is a set elements 2 3 4 5 and b is another set we have elements 1 3 6 now a union b so a union b is nothing but I have to combine these elements 2, 3, 4, 5 and 1, 3, 6. I should write all together. But the important condition is we should not repeat the elements. So we know that in every set we should not repeat the elements. So without repeating elements we should write all the elements from A and B. So that is 1, 2, 3, 3 is uh, 2 times. So you should write only 1 and 4, 5, or 6. So I wrote in order. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 3 is repeated 2 times in both, but we need to write only once. So all the elements if we write together, there is just nothing but A union B. Okay, in terms of uh, derivation, so we can say like this. <coughs> A union B. So this is nothing but the elements X such that X belongs to X is belongs to A or X is belongs to B because we are combining together. Next, it's clearly saying X is belongs to A union B. X is belongs to A union B. So that implies X is belongs to A or X is uh, belongs to B. Both vice versa. And at the same time, if X is does not belongs to A union B. So in that case, X is does not belongs to A. And I use AND symbol. So it's not even does not belongs to B also. So all the elements we just combine and write. So just the method is, first write down all the elements of A. And you can write the remaining elements in B. So we need to combine the complete A union B. So okay, I'll give with examples. Uh, two, three examples I'll tell you now. Let P is a set. X such that X is a factor of 16. X is factor of 16. Next Q is a set. X such that X is a factor of 24. X is factor of 24. So we need to find out P union Q. P union Q is equals to dash. 
So first given sets we need to write in set the roster form. If you write this x is a factor of 16. So all the 16 factors we should write. So 16 factors we know 1, 2. So which are the numbers divisible by 16? That is 4, 8 and 16. And q is the set at the factors of 24. So factors of 24 are 1, 2, it's in 3 table, 4, you know, 6, and 8, 12, and 24. So these are the factors of 24. Now P union Q. So P union Q is, we should combine, write all the P elements and Q elements together. So that is without repeating. So some numbers are repeated here. 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16. Some are repeated but you should not repeat in the union set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. So 6 is in Q but not in P. But we need to write. So union is we should combine all the elements without repeating. That's the thing. 8, 12, 16 and 24. Okay. So this is the P union Q. Okay. Anything, any example is given also same. You should write the elements all together and will combine. So let me explain you some properties of union offsets, some important properties. Properties of union offsets. So let us see what are the properties we can make. So first one, union of sets is a commutative. So it exists commutative property. Union of sets is commutative. You know about commutative property, right? So that is if A union B if you find out that is exactly equal to Again, B union A. So, for any two sets A and B, so it exists. And next property union of sets is associative. Union of sets is associative. So we know about associative property that is uh, three sets for any three sets A, B, C, A union B, find out union of C is equals to A union B union C. So associative property also it exists. For any sets, okay next one. For any sets A and B, any sets if you take A and B, for example, A is the subset of A union B and B is the subset of A union B. So it's true because A union B means all the elements of A also is included. That's what A is a subset of A union B and B is also a subset of A union B. If both property, if A is subset of B, in case if A is the subset of B, so it's important, then that means all the elements of A 
is in B. So A union B is equals to set B because A is a subset of B. So A union B should be B only. Since A is the subset of okay, next you can take because if the B B is a subset of A means A union B is equal to A. Or if B is subset of A, then A union B is nothing but A. So now we can say if A use A union null set and this simple we know it A union and null set is equals to A because null set no elements so it's for every set A any set it take that set union null set is equals to the same set we'll get so these are the properties of union of sets now we'll see intersection of sets